Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going to be examining the particularly strange yet incredibly powerful Niku Niku no Mi. The Niku Niku no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to repel anything they touch by bestowing them with a paw like structure on their palms, thus making the user a poor human rather than a repelling human somehow. The fruit was consumed by Warlord of the Sea, Bartholomew Kuma, and made its debut in the series during the Thriller Bark arc. The fruit, very, very simply, takes its name directly from the Japanese word for paw being Niku. However, this is not to be confused with the word for meat being Niku, despite the fact that its kanji also appears in Niku. However, there is no chance of said confusion happening in English though, as both Viz and Funimation have decided to label it as the poor poor fruit. So with the Niku Niku no Mi, we have a relatively simple concept. The user can repel things. And this is one of those cases where at a glance, this fruit sounds completely underwhelming and we just kind of want to move on, yeah? No, because that would be depriving ourselves of some serious potential. And to kick off this exploration, I'd like to first point out that the paws granted by this fruit can repel pretty much anything. And when I say anything, I mean, well, you'll see. But right off the bat, the Niku Niku no Mi provides its user with a near impenetrable defense. Any form of weapon like swords or bullets will be sent flying far, far away from you. And not at some casual blocking speed either, because items repelled by this fruit are done so at an absurdly high speed, leading to some potentially incredibly destructive counterpower. So for example, if someone were to shoot you, it's entirely possible that you could not only prevent the bullet from hitting you, but even send it flying right back at your adversary at significantly more devastating force. But it's not just tangible objects that are able to be repelled, as the Niku Niku no Mi is also capable of dealing with existences like sword slashes, laser beams, and assault of compressed air. Look, it doesn't really matter what you're trying to throw at the user, they will be able to repel it. In fact, rather astonishingly, not even seemingly layered existences such as Perona's ghosts are immune to being repelled. And thus far, the Niku Niku no Mi is the only Devil Fruit ability other than the Horror Horror no Mi itself, of course, that has shown to be capable of interacting with the ghosts in any way. The madness does not stop there though, because the user of this fruit also gains the ability to repel more abstract concepts. The primary example of which we have in the series is pain. Yes, at one stage, the Niku Niku no Mi was able to repel all of the pain and fatigue from Luffy's body, leaving him feeling fantastic, and sequestering Mastering all of these feelings to a cute but deadly paw shaped bubble of doom. And this is just pure insanity. Because then you start questioning well, what exactly is pain? Are we talking about just the physical sensation throughout the body, or are we potentially looking at mental anguish as well? And I imagine that we aren't restricted entirely to pain either. I mean, surely the user would also be able to repel the feeling of pleasure if they saw fit. Although I'm not exactly sure why they'd want to do that unless they were feeling uh, particularly sadistic. But then we start thinking well, what is the full extent of this? Could it even go so far as to repel sensations like emotions? For example, could the user of the Niku Niku no Mi actually be able to cure some forms of depression by simply repelling any feelings of sadness or pain from their target. There is an incredible amount of potential to explore here. Quite notably though, as I stated before, whatever does get repelled does not dissipate. In fact, it remains very much in existence and it's kind of vague as to what needs to be done with it from there. Like we're not sure if it could just remain floating in the world for the remainder of the user's lifespan or if it will eventually erode and dissipate or if it does actually have to find a new home. So, so many questions but ever so much potential. But with all of this in mind, I should state that the fruit does have one pretty huge weakness, which is that the user can only repel things that come into contact with their paws. So it makes them far from invulnerable should they sustain an attack or damage on literally any other part of their body. So if a user wants to implement the Niku Niku no Mi in the combative realm, they'd still need to have the strength, speed, and tactical mind to make any decent use of it whatsoever. And for a bit more on that, let's take a look at Mr. Decent Use himself, the ever enigmatic Bartholomew Kuma. Now I suppose we should highlight the fact that Kuma is a cyborg first and foremost, because that in effect negates a great deal of the sole weakness I mentioned in regards to the Niku Niku no Mi. Essentially, if Kuma fails to repel something, then he can more than likely tank it anyway due to his mechanical physique. But in general, that's not so much of a worry for Kuma because of how he has molded the Niku Niku no Mi for offensive purposes. Kuma's primary attacks with the fruit involve him repelling air at or even through his opponents, creating a shockwave style effect that is sent towards an opponent at the speed of light. And look, before we go much further, take the whole speed of light thing with some healthy skepticism, because the world of One Piece demonstrably does not subscribe to science as we know it in reality. So for now, let's just say that Kuma generates extraordinarily fast and devastating shockwaves. In that regard though, Kuma also makes use of Niki Niki no Mi for the purposes of travel, essentially repelling himself to cover incredible distances in no time at all. And the same concept can be applied to others, with Kuma's most famous invocation of this definitely being when he sent the straw hats flying all around the world, repelling them to a wide variety of different locations. Although this travel was certainly not instantaneous and it took them three days to reach their respective destinations. Although three days is still pretty incredible considering the distances that some of them covered. And but of course, Kuma has also developed an ultimate attack of sorts called Ursa's Shock, whereby he compresses a ridiculous amount of air between his hands. And by the time it's actually small enough to fit in his palms, then he can release it, resulting in a massive shockwave explosion. 
Now in regards to awakening this beast, I can only imagine that you may gain the ability to generate extra paws, or maybe not paws so much as the actual pads that form the paws, you know, possibly around the rest of your body, or perhaps even become capable of placing them around the environment, leading to a whole host of new potential in regards to the heavily underestimated art of repelling. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a paw human. There's a bit of a misconception with this fruit in regards to how it allows the user to travel, and many people adopt the incorrect idea that it allows the user to teleport, when in reality, they are simply repelling themselves at absurd speeds. When someone is sent flying long distances with the Niki Niki no Mi, for the duration of their journey, they are protected by a seemingly impenetrable bubble, which, you know, has all of a sudden made this method of traveling long distances sound much more appealing than being stuck in a tiny seat on a plane. Although, uh, actually, I suppose the question does come up of what do you do when you need to go to the bathroom? Hmm, awkward. Something that we also didn't touch on in the detailed power section is that it may be entirely possible to repel your own pain and fatigue, thus sort of giving you a permanent mechanism of healing, which I imagine would be extraordinarily useful in combat. Now in certain One Piece games, it has been implied that Kuma is able to perform this. However, within the series canon, there has been no such confirmation as of yet. So all of a sudden, the simple ability to repel isn't sounding too bad at all. That is when you can repel essentially anything, even abstract concepts, as well as use the fruit as a powerful combat tool and pretty much the ultimate form of transportation in the One Piece world and quite possibly even our own world. This fruit is madness, and I feel like we really haven't even seen the pure depth of what it may be able to achieve. And it's entirely possible that we may never be privy to said depth, but even so, this fruit comes out of this with a glowing recommendation, an absolute must eat if you were to stumble upon it. And with that, we are going to commit the Niki Niki no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we are finally launching into the short but sweet Sabadi era to examine a fan favorite fruit possessed by a fan favorite character with the Ope Ope no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this but apply to other anime and manga series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Niku Niku no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.